When I was your age, about 10, 11, right? I hadn't traveled much outside of the country, but my dad used to keep going away on these business trips. He'd be gone for little, little amounts of time, but then he would come back with a lot of goodies. You know, chocolates and teddy bears and toys and lollipops. I love those lollipops. But I wasn't really very keen on that. What caught my attention was, I was into coin collection back then, all right? And his pockets used to be brimming with different colors and different sizes and different shapes of coins and different notes with many different things printed and written on them. I used to get so excited that I'd even made a scrapbook where I would pick them out, stick them in there and talk to him, ask him, where is all of this from? Who is this person that's drawn on here? What does this symbol mean? And actually made a presentation in school as well, a project of sorts, if you will. You must be familiar with what I'm saying, right? Different currencies around the world and the variety in each of them. What do we use here in India? Today it's called the Indian National Rupee, the INR. You must have noticed this symbol as well, right? It's a very new, recent symbol. It was earlier called RS. I think this looks a lot cooler. In one Indian rupee is about uh, 100 paise. I think you're familiar with that. What do they use in the US? That. That's called a dollar. Now, uh, what's, what's the relationship? Wait, what's a dollar made of? Rupees was made of paise. What's a dollar made of? Dollar is made of cents. What's the relationship between dollar and rupee? Are they same? Are they different? What is the relationship between cents and paise? It used to be very confusing for me at a point in time. Simple question. If I had 3,000 rupees and a friend of mine had 3,000 dollars, which one of us had more money? Well, you see, there is some relationship between them which makes 3,000 rupees and 3,000 dollars different from one another, right? Let's say how much um, a bottle of juice, a bottle of cola, how much would that cost in India? As of uh, 2010, 2016, it costs about 12 to 25 rupees, depending on where you buy it from, right? In the US, a bottle of cola might cost about 50 cents or two dollars or depends again where you buy it from. How much do you think it will cost in, let's say, Zimbabwe? One dollar, five dollars, ten dollars. Yeah, this is a very interesting fun fact. In something called the third Zimbabwean dollar, a bottle of cola could cost as much as dollars one zero 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 that many Zimbabwean dollars. And Zimbabwe even had one single note printed for that many third Zimbabwean dollars. Actually had because today the Zimbabwean dollar, the third Zimbabwean dollar does not exist anymore. It's kind of gone extinct. It's not in use anymore. Zimbabwe doesn't have its own currency today. It just latches on to dollars and euros and other global currencies. And if you take an interest in money, currency, take an interest in collecting coins and studying them, notes and studying them from different parts of the world, you will build mastery of money very easily. Okay, cut it. Back up. Yeah, Shin. Uh, There's a payment. What? No, what are we doing with this? This is a salt. We talk. The payment for the shooting. Salt? Yeah. Hello, boss. Yeah, come on. Back up. Back up. Hello, we're not in the medieval times. Hello, give me... Hello, sir. I need notes with Gandhi's face on it. Hello? Where are you? Hello, sir. If you like this video and want to watch many, many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.